Hello everybody and welcome to your sixth wire mod tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a fading door or install a fading door wherever that may be so you're going to want to open up your steam overlay go ahead and navigate to community hub down below you're going to want to click on the workshop tab along the top wait for it to load go to your Gary's mod search box and just search fading door should be the third row down if I've done this enough times. There you go, right in the middle. Click on it and click subscribe. I am already subscribed to it, so it may look a little bit different. There you go. Once you have that installed and everything, you are set. So, what we're going to do is we're going to want to find an area that you want to make your fading door. So, let's say right here. We're going to get something that. I did not mean to do that. Uh. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, you're going to want to make or find a prop. Come outside of the door. Thank you. And now you fall down. Find a prop that will cover the whole thing, such as this. And if you're like, well, I don't want to use a fence. That's ugly. And I mean, depending on your outlook, yes, it it, it, is, it is or can be ugly. So if you want to shrink that up, let's say you can do this and not cover the whole door and only have this the area that you can walk through you can put something nice and pretty like maybe this little bar gate to spawn outside the door thank you like that so now you have this which will stay solid and this is the only way to get in and it looks a little bit better than a fence so what you're going to want to do is make it into, fading, make it into a fading door how? go to tools under construction find fading door and set this button to a button that you don't commonly use mine zero on the keypad because I never hit that for anything click it nothing changes right except when you hold down the key now it's invisible and you can walk right through it or semi is invisible now you're gonna wanna make sure toggle is unchecked now let's say it was checked right and every time I hit it it toggles you don't want that all you're gonna do is uncheck toggle and just click on the door again and now it shouldn't be toggled anymore now what we're going to do is we're going to first do it with a button so a button what do you mean well go under wire input output go to your button find a button if I'm going too fast you should be able to get it have toggle checked output entity checked value on should be one value off should be zero place down take out your wire tool and click on the door fade to out so what this does is when the button is pressed it outputs a one when the door receives a one it fades so hit the button and it fades hit it again and it you know comes back in so there you go now flaw here hit it walk through bam oh now what it's still open and you can't reach the button well that's terrible because now everyone can walk right in so we're going to improve this just go ahead and delete your button you're going to want to find the target finder under the let's see where is it the under the why can i not find this there it's not there it is all right <laughs> target finder go ahead and turn the max range all the way up to max copy my um whatever my settings uh i'll read them out as well target players checked do not target owner unchecked do not target owner stuff unchecked target NPCs unchecked everything just unchecked except target players maximum range 1000 minimum range 1 and name filter this is so it only opens for you now I'm the only player on the server right now so my name is Dr. Mooch if you couldn't tell and I just put in doctor here you don't have to type in the whole name just part of your name is fine and go ahead and put it in the name filter and I'm recording in 1920 by 1080 so full HD and I can't seem to get the um, I guess these settings to show up very crisp and clear although I am using the I am using fraps so I don't understand why but I'm trying my best and hopefully you know we, this will somehow show up if you have any suggestions leave a comment below but enough talking let's get to the target finder uh... 
go ahead and place this anywhere. You can place it here. You can place it here. You can place it all the way up there for all I care. You just place it somewhere like that. There you go. Now you're going to want to find a beacon sensor. You're going to want to make sure output distance is checked. Uh, that's your main thing. Feel free to check anything else, but um, you really want output distance. And yeah, go ahead and put that next to it if you really want to. And now we're going to get a less than gate. So go to gates, go to comparison gates, less than, pop it up. Boom. And now your last but not least, you're going to want to get your constant value from the input output or IO. I put the number 55 in here because I found that that works very well for this fading door. So that's what I'm going to put in. Feel free to put any number, but I found 55 works very well. And go ahead and pop that somewhere. That's luckily all the wiring we need to do. So actually, let's get wiring. That's the only components we need. So what you're going to want to do is set the target to 1 on the target finder. So we link the beacon sensor to the target finder. And what this essentially does is it gets all the data from here and condenses it to the beacon sensor. And it outputs a value. So we want A. I don't know why that doesn't show up. Let me update this. Gates less than. Update. Alright, well, hopefully it works. But wire A to distance and wire B. Wire B to the constant value and wire fade on the door so just hover over the door to the output of the chip so what this essentially does is it finds the target and it gives it to the beacon sensor and the beacon sensor you know coordinates all coordinates coordinates calculates the target's location which is me in this case because I have the name filter on for doctor or doctor mooch and it says, all right, let's say the distance he is from the target finder is 80. So it assigns 80 to A, or, yeah, it assigns it to A. Now, we want B to be the distance you want for the door to go off. So I said once I get to 55 units or less, I want the door to open. So I have... I'm really bad at explaining this, but the distance here, if the distance, so I am, is less than 55, the door will open. So as I come close, you see, oh wow, that worked amazingly well. All right, depending on how you set it up, you may need to tweak the numbers a little bit. Let's do, let's do 100, okay, because I'm feeling even today. So you see that the, oh my god, why isn't this opening? Oh, I never wired the output. Kids don't do that. Oh, well, yeah, I did, but I don't know why it's not doing that. Why you no open if distance is less than value? Is it even finding me? Yeah, it's finding me. Hmm. A is distance. Why you no fade? Why you no fade? Why you no fade? Let's see here. Now is the perfect time to do some troubleshooting. Wire gate less than if A, the distance, is less than value of 100. World position distance. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's really particular. Okay, let's do something along the lines of 200. Bam. So again, you're going to need a tweak with the settings a little bit, but I just, excuse me for the troubleshooting, but apparently it thinks I'm a lot further away than I actually am, or I thought I was at least. So as you see, once I get within 200, it opens for me, and then once I move out of that 200 range, it closes. So again, if 200, or if the distance I am is less than 200, output a 1 to the door, which opens it. And then once I am no longer in that range, it outputs a zero and it closes it. So, thanks for watching. Excuse my troubleshooting. I did not expect that to happen, but, you know, mistakes do occur. Um, again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think of the tutorials, what you want next. Uh, again, any tips on that 
clarity for the menu on the side. Again, I am recording in HD with Fraps. I don't know why it's still, you know, a little, a little blurry down there, but hopefully me reading it out will make up for that. All right, thanks for watching.